Welcome everyone, it is Andrew here from iDownloadBlog. Today we are going to take a look at the new features in El Capitan in Mac OS 10.11.4. First up are some enhancements to live photos. Previously, you could only view them in the Photos application. They had a little icon in that bottom left hand corner to let you know they were a live photo. And you could only share them using iCloud photo sharing. You couldn't actually attach them to a message. But now anywhere you see that share sheet in the system, you can go down to messages and share that image, live photo intact. Now speaking of messages, previously you could only view a still of a live photo in the messages application, which was kind of a bummer. Someone would send you a live photo and you couldn't really see it. But now you can see there's a live photo. It has that little icon in that top left hand corner. You click the photo and it will kind of highlight and then hit spacebar. This means you can also view it in Apple's quick look feature, which is that kind of pop-up window where you can preview videos or images, and in this case, a live photo. You can see it'll play right away, but in that bottom left-hand corner, it still has that live photo indicator, which you can click to play it again. Alongside the Mac OS 10.11.4 update, Apple released the iOS 9.3 update for iPhone and iPad. This added the ability to password protect notes and use Touch ID. That feature comes to the Mac as well, at least as far as the password goes. You'll see there's now a lock icon on the top because I had locked this on my iPhone and it'll prompt me to enter a password whenever I open it up. You can also now import a bunch of different types of notes, including the Evernote notes, which is the .enex format, as well as TXT and RTF. Lastly, this isn't much of a feature as a big bug fix, and that is with the t.co link shortened links from Twitter. When you use those now, they will actually correctly work, taking you to wherever they may lead, such as this IDB article. Let us know in the comments below what you think of the new update to Mac OS X, and subscribe if you like this. Check out all of our other videos for the new updates released, and until next time, this has been Andrew for iDownloadBlog.